Hey everyone, it's Megs here, otherwise known as the Megs Cahill, professional makeup artist and beauty influencer. And today I am joined by my beautiful little sister, Maddie. Hello, hello. So I have Maddie here because we're gonna do an awesome prom look on her using all CoverGirl products, which I'm so excited about because they're easily accessible and they're cruelty free. So we're gonna do something a little bit more dra dramatic, maybe do some blue with Maddie wearing blue today. I'm so excited to show you guys my tips and tricks, especially coming from a professional myself. I hope you guys can learn a tip or two as well. So first off, starting with her face, I'm gonna start with the eyebrows. I normally work from the eyes first and then I do the face last, especially since we're doing something a little bit more dramatic. We wanna make sure if there's any fallout, we can easily wipe that away and not have to worry about that getting mixed into our foundation. So first off, I'm gonna use this CoverGirl brow pencil. This is Rich Brown. So this is really awesome, it has a little spoolie. So it is pretty tiny as you guys can see. So um, first I brush Maddie's brows up just to kind of get an idea of the shape and then I will go in and I will just start lightly filling them in just with little brushing strokes. Finishing up her brow right now. As you guys can see, she looks a little crazy with her brows done first, but I like to do the brows first because it gives me a map for the eye of how far to bring out the eyeshadow and such. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up her brows. I'm gonna do that using some concealer. So this is the CoverGirl Clean Matte Concealer. Most of the products I'm gonna be using today are matte because this is a night out since she's going to prom. She's probably gonna be dancing and sweating and Maddie is naturally oily skin. I'm more dry, she's more oily. But um, so I'm just gonna use some concealer and prep the eyelid for uh, eyeshadow and we'll be right back. Okay, so let's start eyeshadow, the most exciting, fun part. Madison is wearing blue, so we wanna do something smoky and blue, do something a little bit more dramatic. So I'm gonna be using two eyeshadow palettes from CoverGirl. I'm gonna be using the Nudes and the Dazed. Um, so these two palettes are pretty good mix as we have some brights here and up there we have new some neutrals and we also have some deeper shades that we can deepen the eye with. But we're gonna mainly do our pop with this sh shadow palette right here. So let's start with the nudes and I'm gonna start with the transition shade and we're gonna build it up and add some blues. So let's start our eyes. So I'm gonna start with a transition. So we're gonna go with this little guy right here, just on the fluffy brush. Maddie's gonna close her eyes and this is gonna start by going into her crease. So we're gonna start by building the shadow in her crease first. Just kind of going in windshield wiper motions. I am gonna be pulling the shadow out a tad because we are gonna be putting a wing. So we're gonna set up the shadow to work perfect with a wing. So we're gonna start deepening her eye. I'm gonna keep with the same fluffy brush. This is what I just feel most comfortable with. Madison has a pretty big crease line in her eye, so it's easy for me to work in with this brush. So I'm gonna just go the next step up in the deeper eyeshadow. on the eyes as you guys can see we have that nice transition and a little bit of deepening look straight at camera for me Maddie as you guys can see uh, when Maddie looks straight you can still see the definition so now we're gonna go a little bit deeper and then we'll pop that blue in there so we're gonna go into the second darkest we're gonna focus this just on the outer third of her lid so I want Maddie's eyes to be a little bit warmer so I'm actually gonna pull a product that I'm gonna be using later to do her face I'm gonna dip into the bronzer which is a little bit more of a warm so the last thing to deepening the eye, we're going to take this dark shade right here. This is adding all that shadow for when we add the blue. The blue is really going to pop. Next, we're going to use some of that concealer that I used to clean up her brows. We're gonna use this to tap onto her lid to use as a sticky base for the blue when we apply. That way the blue won't flake off. I'm just gonna keep this more on the inner part of Maddie's eye and the ball of her eye and pop. And I'm gonna use my finger and just tap and blend this. Okay, so now we're gonna pick up this palette. So this is our Days palette. We're gonna start with this really pretty like cobalt blue. And I'm actually going to also spray my brush to get the most metallic payoff. So I'm gonna be using our setting spray. This is the Outlast Active. This is the Cooling Setting Mist. So this is something that makes your makeup last all day. A trick that I do is I just spray my brush. That way my brush is damp. So when I apply the shadow, it's gonna be very pigmented. 
So this is gonna go on the ball of Maddie's lid. Just kind of where we put that concealer. That blue is beautiful. So for the inner corner of Maddie's eye, we're gonna take this really pretty blue right here. And we're gonna tap that right into that little pocket before we hit the darkest blue. So I'm gonna pop a color right here into her highlight and then we will clean up all under her eyes. Don't mind her under eyes. I'm a little heavy handed with shadow and that's why I always do her foundation last. So I'm just gonna brighten this inner corner right here with a little bit of this metallic shade just to add some light to her eyes. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little pro trick of mine. I take a cotton round and I put a makeup remover in the middle and I'll have her look up and I'm gonna wipe right under her eye and pick up all that shadow. But, I'm gonna have you turn her that way. Look up. When I do it, I go along her lash line and I pull up. So now I have the shape for where the wing's gonna be. And that just makes such an easy guide. Look up again. Makes such an easy guide for when I go to apply her liner, which we're gonna do next. We're gonna go ahead and do a wing. So next up, we're gonna apply liner. I'm gonna do a wing, but I'm gonna do this with a pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Ink It pencil. This is in black ink, very creamy, easy to work with. So now that we have Maddie's wing all sharp, we definitely have a dramatic wing, dramatic shadow. We're gonna go ahead and apply mascara, which is so important before putting on your falsies. You wanna make sure your lashes are nice and dark so they mesh with the falsies very well. So we're gonna use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. So when I apply mascara, I apply it from the top first. I know that's weird, but I coat it from the top. So that way, once the top is coated and I coat the bottom, it'll help it stand up more. It's almost like the prep for it to curl better. So now we're gonna move on to Madison's face. We're gonna start with primer. So this is the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business. This is the Everyday Defense Skin Primer. So normally I like to put this on with my fingers. So that way I can crease up her nose, under her eyes, all of that. This is just gonna smooth out her skin for foundation and just give the foundation something to stick to as well. So now onto Maddie's foundation, I'm gonna mix these two little guys right here to make sure I get the right match for her. So I'm gonna mix T30 and L50. These are 12 hour wear foundation and these are also um, smudge proof. So they will not transfer or anything like that. This is perfect for Maddie, especially because she has somewhat oily skin. So this is gonna keep her nice and matte and keep her foundation on all night. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this with a sponge or a brush, whatever you feel most comfortable with all over her face. Okay, so now that we have Madison's foundation fully applied, we're gonna go ahead and start highlighting. I normally highlight first, highlight and conceal first, and then I'll contour after. So taking this brush, I'm gonna apply this on the high points, first being under the eyes. So I'm just gonna paint some under her eye right here. Take it up on the nose a little bit to snatch her nose in. Do face straight there. There we go. So as you can see, I'm just kind of snatching up the side of the nose. I'm gonna do her chin. Remember when you're highlighting, it's whatever you want to bring forward, whatever you want to be most prominent. So we're gonna highlight all these features because we almost want it to look like there's a spotlight on the middle of Maddie's face. Cute, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit darker shade foundation. So this is T40. And I am just going to use a little like paintbrush and I'm gonna paint that onto the contours of Maddie's face. Since this is the same formula as the foundation, it's gonna blend together and mesh perfectly. So I am just gonna kind of paint this onto Maddie's little all over cheek right here, just kind of in that little portion, bringing it forward. And then I'm gonna take a little brush right here, and I'm just gonna blend this out, kind of just tapping, and if anything, flicking up, 
never flicking down. We want to keep all the contours up and high on her face. We don't want to drag her face down at all. And this is just adding some color, some warmth, and definition. Of course. I'm also going to go along Maddie's forehead. So this is going to minimize her forehead and also add warmth. Again, just taking this brush and kind of blending it out. Little tapping and pulling motions. And I'm just, what's that one? I'm just going all the way down to this contour. So that way it's seamless. And then I'm gonna go by her ear too. And the drawing head towards me. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. So again, just warming up her forehead and taking down the jaw. Okay. And then with whatever is left on the brush, I just pinch it. No need to get a new brush. Whatever is left, I'm just gonna go down the side of the nose. This is a soft, easy way of contouring and adding color back into the face. Kind of just pulling that into the brow too. So next we're gonna set Maddie's face. So we did all the cream, so we cream contoured and highlighted and all that. So once that's all applied, then we're gonna set. We don't wanna be mixing creams and powder. So I'm just gonna take, this is the Clean Professional Powder by CoverGirl. I'm gonna dip my spun. As you can see, it's like a little bit chunky on my sponge. So I'm gonna take my hand and I'm just gonna tap in my hand. See all that excess? None of that is needed. So now for extra insurance, and because Maddie does get a little oily, I'm gonna take this powder. This is the Clean Matte Powder in the shade Warm Beige. Look the same. And I'm gonna set the contours of her face with this. So instead of setting it with just translucent powder, I'm gonna set it with a powder with a little bit of color. That way if there's any flash photography, the contours will 100% not wash out because this powder is setting it as well. There's no translucent over top. So this is just adding more color and also setting the face at the same time. So I'm gonna sculpt out. Okay. So next I'm gonna take the Serving the Sculpt palette. I'm gonna use this bronzer on a nice big fluffy brush. Put that like that. And I'm just gonna add some bronziness to her. So next I'm gonna highlight her face. We're gonna use the Super Stunner palette and I'm gonna mix these two shades right here to get the highlight. Look that way for me. I'm gonna highlight just the tops of her cheekbone right here so she has that nice shine whenever anyone's taking any photos or anything like that and look forward. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go down the center of her nose, her cupid's bow and her chin. These are the points that's gonna pull the most highlight. And these highlights are pretty blinding, guys. Like, you can really get a super good glow. I'm gonna tone it down just a little bit on her nose by going over it with a sponge. Just like so. Next, we're gonna do blush. So going in back into the Serving Sculpt palette, I'm gonna take this beautiful little peachy guy right here on this fluffy brush. Look that way. Um, smile for me. And I'm gonna have Maddie smile and I'm gonna take this nice little fluffy guy and I'm just gonna work it here. I'm gonna go back, but also a little bit forward. I'm keeping her blush a little bit higher instead of going like down here, keeping it a little bit higher. to pull her face up and give her that more youthful look. So now we're gonna finish off her eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and take that black pencil that we used earlier and look up. <clears throat> this is gonna go right into her waterline. And then once it's in her waterline, we're actually gonna connect the wing. Look that way for me so they can see and look up. We're gonna connect that wing to her bottom lash line. That way the wing isn't just coming out of nowhere, it's really swooping her eyes up. Now we're gonna take that little brush, kind of like a little paw brush, and look up. We're gonna blend this liner with some blue. And you wanna make sure you have no excess, so make sure you're like tapping the brush off, because we have done the foundation, we don't want anything to fall under. Look up. And we're just gonna get right under her lashes. It's almost like we're tilting her lashes up, so we can really get under there. And this is gonna tie in the blue. Smoke it out in the babiest way. Look for it. See how it's just a little bit softer than the other side and still adding blue back into her. 
So for her inner corner to add brightness to this look, I'm gonna go back into the nude palette and take this little guy right here and we're gonna mix it with the first one. That way it's not too peachy and not too white. So to finish up her eyes, we're gonna do the bottom lashes with the Lash Blast Mascara. And I'm just making sure to coat all of that because this is really gonna tie in the top lashes and the smokiness, and it's gonna open her eyes as well. Look at camera. So I have these awesome lippies right here. So this is the Outlast All Day Custom Nudes Collection. These three are personally the ones that I kind of gravitated towards. So we have Light and Warm, Medium Warm, and Universal Nude, which this shade is a shade that they tried on a bunch of different women and it looked absolutely beautiful in all skin tones. So I'm gonna show you guys a little trick for if you're not sure what lip you want to do yet, but you can see the color right here. Give me one sec. So now onto lips. These are the Outlast All Day Lip Colors by CoverGirl. So these actually last for 24 hours. They have a super long staying powder. They are absolutely amazing. So you apply these first and then you have a second step that you put on 30 to 60 seconds later. It's kind of like a bomb. Um, so this is gonna stay super well. So let me show you guys a little trick. As you guys can see, you can see the shades right here. If you're not really sure what um, lip to do with your eye and you don't wanna keep trying them on, you can actually just hold it up as if it was your lips and you can totally see how it'll look with your eyes. So look down, Maddie. So you can see we have the blue here so we can see if this complements the blue. I think that complements pretty well. We have this little guy, which still does well, but it's a little bit more berry. And then we have this one too. A little bit more bold, just the slightest difference. So looking at them, I would say these two are the ones I like. Holding them up and checking. I think I wanna go with the bottom one. The bottom one actually is more of a coral shade, so it has an orange undertone. With it having an orange undertone, the opposite of orange on the color wheel is blue. So with her shadow being blue and this being more of a coral orange undertone, they're gonna complement each other and they're not gonna clash. So this is complementary. Whenever they're separate, the two colors on the wheel are separate from each other, they're complementary. And when they're together, they neutralize. So since they're separated, they're gonna complement. So let's go ahead and do this shade. We're gonna apply this first on Maddie's lips, wait 30 to 60 seconds, and then apply the second step. All right guys, so the last thing to finish off Maddie's makeup is setting spray. So this is the Outlast Active Cooling Setting Mist for all day wear. We're just gonna go ahead and spray this on Maddie's face, so close your eyes for me. And this is just gonna set Maddie's face so that way when she's out dancing and such, if she's sweating or anything like that, the makeup is not gonna budge. If you also wanna speed this process up a little bit faster of it drying in, a tip I like to do is take one of your palettes and just fan your face so that way it dries and that will set everything in once it's dry. Okay, everyone, that was it for this look. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful prom blue look on Maddie. Something colorful, something bold and glowy, and with all CoverGirl products that are so easily accessible to you guys. If you guys do wanna purchase any products from this look, go ahead and go on covergirl.com or visit any drugstore near you to find their products. Thank you so much, Maddie, for being my model. You guys can find my sister at the Maddie Cahill, as well as you guys can find me at the Megs Cahill. Thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure to keep up with CoverGirl. Bye, babes. Mwah.